Hey everybody, happy Robbie Burns Day. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the Alt Spots Address to the Haggis. If you don't know me, my name is Gavin. Uh, obviously we're doing things a little different this year. Normally the bar would be filled with all your beautiful smiling faces and I'd be addressing all of you directly as opposed to a camera. But here we are. Uh, just before we get started, just a brief history on Robert Burns himself. Born January 25th, 1759 in Alloway, Ayrshire, Scotland. He's known as the National Poet of Scotland, the Bard of Ayrshire, the Plowman's Poet. He was a hero to the Scottish people and a staunch advocate of the independence of Scotland. Um, and against the advice of his uh, contemporaries, who said his fame would be best served by writing exclusively in English, he refused and wrote mainly in the Scots dialect. And many contribute his work to be a written record to many um, Scottish expressions and customs that would have been long ago lost to history. Um, he was a pioneer of the Romantic movement, along with the Bronte sisters, um, Alexander Dumas and William Blake, but he was better than all of them. Um, his work emphasized uh, emotion, individualism, history, the beauty of nature, and the plight of the working class, which also made him a great sport source of inspiration to the founders of liberalism and socialism, as well as to countless generations of artists, writers, politicians, singers, poets, all around the world, uh, even in Imperial Russia. He's known as the People's Poet. His work spoke to, inspired, and gave hope to the downtrodden, oppressed, ordinary Russian people. If you know your history, then you know Imperial Russia, they didn't have a good time. Um, his works include The Incredible To A Mouse, which of course inspired John Steinbeck to write the book and then play of Mice and Men, stemming from the line in the poem, the best laid schemes of mice and men gang after glay and leave us not but grief and pain for the promised joy, which is one of the most beautiful lines of poetry or anything I believe ever written and just a timeless line for just anything, any occasion really. Um, Coming Through the Rye inspired J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye, uh, Old Lang Sane, which is played every New Year's Eve all around the world, and I'm sure we've all attempted to drunkenly sing along with and failed miserably. Uh, Tam O'Shanter, aside from being the name of like a million golf courses, um, and also being the name of a Scottish cat, a Tammy, that is where Cuddy Sark comes from. It's the name of a witch in the poem, and also, of course, to become an incredible Scotch. Eh. Um, it's been quoted in everything from James Joyce's Ulysses, to the film Goodfellas, Spider, get me a cutting water. Um, and he also coined the phrase man's inhumanity to man from the uh, poem, man was made to mourn. And there's countless others. I could go on and on, but I won't. Um, he, working as a farmer, he wrote about the people for the people. Even the address to the haggis is seen as a like, up yours to the powers that be, to the establishment for looking down on the livelihood customs and life, basically, of the common man, of the working class. His work is absolutely timeless and beautiful, and I encourage anyone out there not familiar with his work to take whatever free time you might have over this to seek it out. <clears throat> On that note, I know it's been uh, quite a year for most everyone. Um, many of the things that we're going through right now are ostensibly exactly the kinds of things that Robert Burns wrote about and would definitely write about today were he still alive. That through uh, heartbreak, uh, tragedy, poverty, famine, droughts, injustice, it is the spirit of the people, the human spirit that perseveres. So, on behalf of Nathan and Nicole, myself, and all of the staff at the Alt Spots, we wanted to thank you people, our people, our customers, our regulars, our friends, all of you, for all of your support over the past year and beyond. It is from your kindness and generosity from all of you that has helped more than just our spirits persevere. We love you, we miss you, and from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. 
Uh, also, at the end of the poem, uh, the end of the address rather, we all toast the haggis. So the last line is, if you wish a grateful prayer, give her a haggis. When I say, if you wish a grateful prayer, I'll give everyone a few beats to either grab a glass or just get amped up and ready. And then we'll all yell and toast together, you to the screen, me to the camera, give her a haggis. Okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Fair for your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. A boon am I you take your place, pinch, tripe, or thern. Well, are you worthy of a grace as long as my arm? The growing trencher, there you fill. Your hurdies, like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill, like amber bead. His knife sees rustic labor dight and cuts you up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like any ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn, they stretch and strive. They'll take the hindmost on their ride till all their well-swelled kites belie <clears throat> oh, are bent like drums. The old Gidman most like to arrive. Be thank it, hums. Tis there that over his French regu or oleo that would star sue or fricassee that would make her spew with perfect scummer, looks down with sneering, scornful view on such a dinner. <sighs> Poor devil, see him over his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank a good whiplash, his knee a knit, through bloody flood and field to dash. <sighs> oh, how unfit. But Mark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clap in his whaley knee of a blade, he'll make it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned like tops of thistle. Your powers will make mankind your care and dish them out your bill of fare. No Scotland wants no skinking wares that laps and juggies. But if you wish a grateful prayer, give her a haggis! <laughs> Thank you, be safe.